Happy Friday! Welcome to another live stream. I'm looking forward to hanging out with you guys as usual. Um, I am going live today because I wasn't quite ready yesterday. I was still uh, using my light table to see my layout, so I couldn't do that. But um, I'm going live today. For starters, I am working on the sketch of a cover for Coffin Comics of Lady Death. This is not approved yet. So um, I'm going to be finishing up some of the details, um, but I won't be able to ink it today until I hear back with approval. Um, so everything here is pending approval, subject to change, like usual. Um, and then if I have time, I will do some more of the adding sparkles and pizzazz to the Divinica art, original artwork that was gotten during the Kickstarter. So. I'm looking forward to hanging out with you guys and I'm just going to get to work. So um, uh, right now I'm going for a, you know, darker look on her face. I'm giving her some armor, but I haven't really worked out, you know, her legs. <laughs> the, the hands are still in need of some work. So anyway, I'm working on that. Megan, hello, Baron. <laughs> Am I enjoying the heat wave? Not so much. <laughs> Rob, Nader, welcome to the stream. Eric, thank you so much for joining. It's great to have you all here. I'm looking forward to working on this one with you guys. Um, and then I'll probably still be inking it on Sunday, I think, because I need to do two versions, right? So um, I need to ink this one and then create the naughty version whatever her outfit is going to be, and ink that as well. So um, <clears throat> I will be working on this over the weekend as well, hopefully, pending approval before the weekend. Hello, Erin. Welcome. It's good to see you too. Keeman, hi. I know, it's supposed to be even hotter on Monday and Tuesday. That's going to be so intense. <laughs> rough. I am really not built for heat. Don't care for it. Jason, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> uh, for anybody who just jumped on, this is still the sketch and not yet approved. So um, those of you who are on my live streams a lot are aware of this, that I am given permission to live stream the process, which is very cool of the publishers that I work for. However, it's with the understanding that everybody is aware that certain things are still pending approval. Like with Lady Death, I am given the, you know, liberties to alter her outfit somehow but you know sometimes the vision i have may not be the direction that the publisher is going we'll have to see so um just putting that out there <laughs> yeah every bit of my british scottish heritage melts in the heat yeah <laughs> stygian hello and welcome oh thank you tom daddy doggy comics hello corvus welcome to the stream <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Eric. <laughs> I mean, it's it's totally fine though. If if certain things aren't approved in the end, it it usually it ends up looking better, you know. And it does push me to try something even more. The layout was approved, so I always send in two layouts. They're one step above stick figures and the the layout was chosen so the the overall placement of everything is approved uh but then the rest is not yet any of those flop sketches you're welcome to send up north to a fellow albertan <laughs> thank you megan <laughs> so i i think she you know Lady Death, I'm not sure. I made her kind of, my, my thought for this is that her throne is like obsidian stone. Um, and then you'll just see some skull-esque shapes throughout. So right now, of course, they're very clear. But in comic art, when you're penciling, you um, X means black. So all of these areas are actually going to be in black. I, my plan for this is an obsidian 
throne and then a big swoop of red cloth just to make it look all kind of royal and shit. <laughs> I know, Jason. <laughs> You're digging the ponytail? Yay, Tom. Thank you. That means a lot. It, you know, I wasn't so sure if that was a good idea for me to do, but yay. And then here, like this whole big piece here, when I sent the layouts in for approval, I actually colored the whole thing. Super rough, but just to explain or at least hopefully give an idea of where I'm going. So this is kind of a, right here is going to be yellow like the sun. And then all of these are like wrought iron, um, think of it more like a honeycomb than anything else. There is no rhyme or reason to the patterning I scribbled. Hardcore. Rough scribbles. And then kind of, you know, <laughs> made some circles, erased some spots, like it makes no sense. I'm not intending for it to make any sense. And then in some of these holes, blood is going to be pouring out and down. So um, the whole color scheme of this, I already worked out. Yay. <laughs> That never happens. Um, so it's going to be very cold. The red is going to be a cool red. And then there's blood pouring down on these. So the, the blood will kind of trickle onto some of the tips of the spears. Anyway, we're going, we're going intense on it. Ergo Josh Raid. Oh my goodness. Ergo, how are you doing? So good to see you. I was just watching some of your... Um, some of your YouTube videos. What was the one that I was watching? It was a, all the ones that you have on social media and stuff like that and finding your style and your, your videos are just amazing. Anyone here, if you haven't already followed Ergo Josh, E-R-G-O-J-O-S-H on YouTube, I highly recommend that you do his videos are so well explained. He's so encouraging and clear and positive. And please go give him a follow on YouTube and on Twitch as well. Thank you all so much for joining. <laughs> so what I'm working on right now, Ergo, if you want to post any of your links, please, please feel free to do so. Um, for anyone who's joined, I am a comic book artist. I work on covers and interiors for many different publishers. Well, interiors for Rothic, and then uh, covers for many different publishers. And um, right now I am working on the sketch of a Lady Death cover. Um, so this is pending approval. I'm given permission to live stream the process, as long as everyone is aware that, you know, I still need to submit it to the publisher and get approvals. Um, so I'm just figuring out and finishing out some of the anatomy issues that I know there are. <laughs> so, um, yes, that's what I'm working on. Oh, Clary Doll, thank you so much for posting his YouTube. Thank you, Kool-Aid Senpai. Jin, hello. Yeah, it's an early raid. It's crazy. Digging the wrought iron fence. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> she is the comic. Thank you, Baron. That's very sweet. So I'm giving her one on this side, one sort of singular armored shoulder situation. I never know what those are called. I, I fail at English. Um, and then... Um, I'm, you know, I want her... Uh, her top to also be metal. So yeah, I need to kind of amp up the badass a little bit. <laughs> and, okay, what has Polito ever asked you to do interiors on Lady Death? No, he hasn't. I've done interiors for Zenoscope, DC Comics, and Rothic. Right now, though, I am working with Rothic on Divinica. Um, and I'm going to be getting back to that as soon as I'm done with my <clears throat> cover run, which I'm almost done with. The background focusing on her head is incredible. Thank you, Ergo. That means so much. Yay. So we're going to have an extremely warm light up here around her face. That warm light will be reflecting onto some portions of 
the wrought iron, whatever the hell that is. And then there will be blood coming out of some of these honeycomb-esque pieces. So there's going to be warmth here and then cold blues, a cold red. I know that doesn't make, make any sense with um, red is very much a warm color, but you can skew it more blue, which is my preference, is the cool red. So it's going to be cool red, but then in certain places, of course, it will be catching that warm golden yellow light that is around her head. David Robinson, thank you. <laughs> Aww. It gives me a spiky anti-halo vibe. Excellent. That's what I was going for. <laughs> I have to go get my daughter, but I will be so be back. Oh, yay. All right. So I'm kind of going for... You know, every time I work on Lady Death, I try to give her outfit some kind of vibe, right? And Brian Polito, who is the creator of Lady Death, he, um, he has given me a lot of leeway, which I really love uh, as far as her outfit. So as long as I keep it in the format of, you know, she always has garters, but I can turn them into boots or whatever, She's always in a bikini-esque kind of situation. So as long as I keep that format of her outfit, I can fuck around with the rest, for lack of a better word. <laughs> so um, sometimes I'm inspired by uh, a wine glass, and other times my outfits are inspired by the, well, this was for Coffin Comics, but not Lady Death specifically, the frilled lizard. So I'm really random in what I'm inspired by. This time I'm kind of going for a barbaric-esque, Viking-esque kind of badass outfit, <laughs> if that makes any sense. <laughs> blood has so many levels. My blood is so dark it's almost black. <laughs> so that's what I'm going for here. and. Hopefully you all have fun watching the process. Hopefully you uh, dig the vibe that I'm going for and we will carry on because really her legs have not seen much help. <laughs> yes, exactly, Brent. <laughs> so. Here, uh, in comic art, I did say this a little bit earlier, but just so everybody knows, when you're preparing something to actually be inked, um, you don't really, it just, it's a waste of time to fill all the areas that you intend to be black with pencil. It just takes forever and smudges all over your paper. So X means black. So any places where you're seeing X's all over my page, that means black. Aw, thank you, Summer! So, um, sometimes I have a little bit of a hard time with boobs in this particular angle, um, but I think I got it. <laughs> Fingers crossed. All right, so what I'm going for here is a shoulder pad situation, you know, one of those uh, armor, armor deals on one arm, right? Um, and at first I had these kind of, they... <laughs> After a little while, when I was looking at it, I realized, oh shit, it looks like a giant eye with a bunch of eyelashes because I had them curved, kind of like bananas. <laughs> and I was like, that's, that, you know, that's interesting because I've got so many spikes here, maybe I should make them curved on her. And then I'm like, no, that looks like eyelashes. Oh, it's called a pauldron. Thank you, Lady Manga and What the Fan Art. I did not, I didn't, I didn't see that one, Tom. <laughs> yeah, now it's a little bit more like a demonic unicorn. I like that, Dennis. Jeff, hello! I need a Lady Death wolf cover to match my hell wolf cover. <laughs> okay, so what I'm trying to do now, I have sent this in for approval um but uh before i start putting inks onto this page i would very much like to have 
some of these details that at the moment are just scribbles actually make some kind of sense. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. There we go. Is that too dark for you guys or can you see? Terrence, hello! So um, I just want to have like leather strips here. I'm going to put some leather over there. We're going to figure out the, the ends of her hair here. And her leg is turning. ponytail is giving you that vibe. I was thinking if anything it was a little bit more Tomb Raider-esque. <laughs> okay and there is hair in those little breaks as well. I'm kind of thinking like leather strips that are just tied around. <laughs> Thank you, Summer. I'm so glad you like it. Oh, I sure as shit can, Tom. Oh my god. <laughs> but that is very nice of you. So I'm thinking maybe, see here, it's going to be the red cloth just kind of draping down. This is a throne-esque element. Might also just be like a seat cropping out of n the ground. We don't know. So all here is black. All there is black. Um, there's red cloth swooping down, going pretty much corner to corner on the cover. Um, and... Then I'm thinking, though, it might look really cool if she's got some strings that are just hanging directly down. It'll kind of break up that swoop and more horizontal line thing going on down here. I may also put a skull right here because that is very typical of Lady Death. I keep going back and forth if I should or I shouldn't. I mm, think I probably should. <laughs> You wish you had a skull throne. Nice. So awesome of Ergo to give us a raid. Thank you all so much for joining. All right. So here is where her leg is. So I've kind of got her, her braid or whatever this ponytail thing is. It kind of goes... Her head is turned just ever so slightly this way. And as such, I've got her braid kind of here and then swooping around and over the opposite shoulder, right? And I've given it a little swoop like this so that you can see her waist. Otherwise, it kind of messes with the anatomy and it'll look, make her body look weird. So that's why I figured, well, you know, it goes over. She's got some big old boobies. It'll push it to the side here, which is awesome. I hate drawing armpits. And then show the waist, and then it'll swoop back over here, and then it should start turning where her leg then is coming towards us, right? <laughs> Take old biddies. <laughs> Twitch won't let you all. Sorry, Summer. Fong, thank you so much. Yes, we're gonna do some tassels. We're going to have, I don't know what I'm going to do to kind of connect it, but I want to have some like crazy ass strips there. We are going for a little bit of a spiked situation up here, so I might see about adding some spikes somewhere else. I'm not sure where yet. Uh, here I've got kind of like ash patterning on her. I suppose it's a little bit Viking slash... Dothraki. I didn't really think about the Dothraki part, 
but I was kind of going for barbaric Viking look. You'd say I tone, yeah, I have a really hard time getting them the right size, Tom. Why do I hate drawing armpits? <laughs> Honestly, because nobody likes to see somebody, I mean, does anybody in the world have an interest in armpits? And like, oh, I really wanted to see that armpit. I don't, I don't think so. And so, you know, I don't go out of my way to show them because why? Nobody cares, you know? <laughs> they do look kind of weird, Luna. Thank you. And so, you know, doing covers where the arm is up, if there's a point to it, fine. You know, the girl has her arm up, but then it also, it looks a lot better if there's just, you know, uh, a cloth there or, you know, a swoop of hair or a braid. <laughs> Any Game of Thrones homages are welcome. <laughs> the Dothraki are Vikings without the sailing. Yeah, with the horses instead. Okay, so that works. <laughs> Would you be able to elaborate on your means of making prints and stocking on the boxes and sleeves you ship in? Yes. Sorry that I didn't do it last time, I 100% can. Um, this paper and any paper that I print with a local printer is actually printed on eight by 12 paper and cut down to size because most 11 by 17 prints are bleed, you know, which means they go all the way to the edge. Well, printers can't print all the way to the edge. So all of it is cut. So I, um, I always set up my prints with a bleed margin. They are printed on 12 by 18 and cut down to 11 by 17. As far as where I get my packing supplies for anything that I ship from home, uh, Uline. So Uline.ca, that's where I get my stuff. Uh, sleeves, all of that from Uline. Um, I get 12 by 18 sleeves, so they're just, to, cause 11 by 17 is not a standard size for anything, really. Like 12, um, no, 12 by 18 is more of a standard size in the world at large, right? Or at least North America. Um, 11 by 17 is very comic specific, <laughs> as far as I can tell. Um, so uh, yeah, I buy 12 by 18 sleeves because they personally at Uline do not sell 11 by 17. Yeah, my printer will print all the way to the edge, but it always misses a bit on the edge somewhere on the print. Yeah, I'm so glad I got one of the last Batwoman prints. Can't wait to get it. Thank you so much for that, Tom. That was really nice of you. Thank you, unnamed gent. As a Tonian, thank you. I'm so glad you think so, Jason. Okay, so yeah, get your stuff at Uline. Um, I print here. I print locally with a print shop. You know, they handle uh, business flyers and business promotional material, and then also they can do art prints. Most places can. Um, you just need to kind of explain to them what you're going for and what you need. Uh, thankfully, my, my uh, printer hookup was introduced to me by Sheldon, who is also a comic book artist, so I kind of got into, um, into that through, well, introduced to this printer here through him. Uh, but you can just look up wherever you live and, you know, find a printer, call them up, ask them what kind of paper they have. I print all of my prints at like a hundred pound paper, um, depending on the paper. Sometimes you can get 80, let me see. Not like you're getting enough of my money already. <laughs> I'm not, Tom. Yes, unnamed uh, gent. This is Lady Death. Now, this is just a specific look for Lady Death that I'm going for right now. I am waiting for approval from Coffin Comics and Brian Polito, who is the creator of Lady Death. So yeah, her hair is a little different than usual. Um, but my cover assignment is also a little different than us usual. So I'm kind of gonna, uh, I'm waiting to see if it's approved. 
Uh, yeah, I was seeing a lot of 12 by 18 options at the various print shops I searched. Some of my actual source files are 11 by 17. Yeah, you need to do 0 0.25, 0 0.25 inch um, margins. Uh, so you just got to handle the margins, make sure that there is a, a bit of a bleed margin. And then um, let me tell you what kind of paper to get. This is a summer lady death. She has her hair in a ponytail to beat the Calgary heat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm just getting my print information. Okay. So, yes, I use, uh, for my paper, I use a hundred pound paper. So, uh, you can just see what kind of paper they carry in stock decide if you like it glossy or not or whatever and then just tell them they just printed it 12 by 18 and cut off the excess <laughs> Matthew Hello, yeah, I had to skip my live stream yesterday because I was still working on uh, transferring this to board. And so um, I needed to, um, it was all light boxing work and that I don't like doing live. So I just postponed till today. Boxes and sleeves at Uline, correct. Lagertha. I don't know who that is, Juan. 100 pound paper makes shipping very expensive. <laughs> Hold, please. I'm like refreshing my mail like a very impatient human waiting to see if I get approval. <laughs> Hanuso, hello and welcome. Happy Friday. Well, my art paper is printed on Cougar Super Smooth. I do not like Cougar Smooth. It must be Cougar Super Smooth. And it's also a 100 pound paper. Um, and that is my preference, 100%. I don't like any other paper. I will accept no substitutes. <laughs> I've been a streamer um, for two years now. I think two years I started in the in late late I don't remember 2017 2000 yeah 2017 I think <laughs> Cougar super smooth makes me giggle every time I know you guys there it is <laughs> Can you request a variant with white satiny drop cloth instead of red? Three if you include the Facebook times. Thank you, Devin. So I need to think about what I'm going to put on the sides. You know, if I'm going to do some kind of circular situation or maybe spikes i mean why not right yeah let's try I mean, spikes are gonna be really hard to draw here in this angle, but let's give it a shot. We did few spikes like this. That one's facing down too much. Mm. You gotta start drawing again, yay! 
Yeah, we all do. 11 by 17 is the standard comic book size. It's just not a standard print size. <laughs> I have an email in with you. <laughs> How do you determine your borderline? Looks like you use a ruler and went for a certain measurement. Well, uh, my borders are actually printed onto the paper. Um, so that's how I do it. I hate rulers. I had a chance to speak with Crystal Frey on Tuesday about our Etsy shop. That is correct with the fan art. Yeah, some spikes coming off the side like that. Okay, mm this is the side of her leg. Let's just do it. Pretend she's wearing yoga pants and there's a seam going down the side just so that I can determine where everything should go. Where do you get your wrist sleeve? I made it myself. Well, I made the pattern and then took it to an alterations place and a very awesome lady made it for me. Because I wanted it a little bit longer so that when my hand is turned basically there is no finger touching the paper <laughs> exactly Tom rulers do have a purpose it's just not for what they're intended for <laughs> it is not an old sock I actually went and and picked my my cloth at a fabric store and I made the pattern, but I made the pattern so big that it fit on my leg. And so I had to go back and have her just like take it in, you know, and pin it to figure out what size my arm is. <laughs> I'm much bigger in my own head. Zoom out a little bit. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, I think, is just make it like a metal... Because I have got a few like diamond-esque shape things over there, I'm just going to kind of carry that through here. I'll have to see how this looks. It might be a little too ornate for the, her general vibe right now. But you got to try them sometimes and just kind of see. This is sort of how I work out outfit design is just wing it, see if it looks good. If it doesn't, well, then erase and start over also who do you have your site I use Shopify I dare Dawn to send me to the corner <laughs> Well, if you deserve it, Tom, I will send you there. Things are looking good for air uh, travel. I don't know. It's looking, it's looking like maybe Kansas City will happen for me after all.
Can you guys imagine? Oh, I'll be so happy. So I don't really like perfectly straight leather strips. I kind of prefer if it looks a little overlappy and almost more like a gauze bandage, but it's leather. Honest soul, that's mean! So who's the lucky person that's gonna receive the, the amazing Empress OA? <laughs> uh, Jason Coates' Coates's first ride of refusal on it. <laughs> Megacon is gonna be insane. That guest list is impressive. Yay! Did you finish the other piece with the Reaper Girl? I'm sorry, I don't know her name. Reaper Girl? Oh, yes, yes, I finished that one. <laughs> Hello, Antonio, welcome to the stream. I'm putting a few little um, folds of cloth that are covering on her thigh line, honestly, just to kind of bring her, I don't know, to bring her closer into the actual image. Otherwise, it could make it look like she's floating, right? Um, so if I put some cloth over and some under, then it kind of, you know, looks like she's part of the chair or sitting in the chair. I don't want her part of the chair. Um, let me see, okay, uh, how far back in line would I be for first right of refusal on a Hell Witch cover? Let me see. I have my first right of refusal list. Sorry. How which you would be fourth in line right now. Speaking of Bar Baroness, will we ever see the alternate black suit print or is it retired like Wonder Booty? It has been retired. Uh, that isn't to say I can't do it again. I can write it down and see uh, what Dan thinks. Black suit. Oh, could you explain the right of refusal thing? Yes, so what I do, oh, you'll take that? Okay. Um, Four. Thank you, Baron. Four. All right. There you go. You're on my spreadsheet. Okay. The what first right of refusal is is um, when I'm working on a cover, if someone wants to claim it, because there there is a. For starters, for a lot of them, there's a wait list. For any other ones or whatever I happen to be working on, people can claim the right to, or they can say that they want that cover, the original art. First right of refusal is once I'm done with it, because I don't take payment on anything until it's finished. Once I'm done with that art, 
and it's been approved and everything is finished, then I will contact the person and be like, the original art is available now. You, uh, it's going to cost X amount. Would you like it or would you like to let me move on to the next person? And so they're basically just the top of the list <laughs> uh, to take it or decide if they don't want it. The red suit was my first print. Oh my God, really, Tom? Thank you. I don't know if I explained that clearly. I mean, really, the first right of refusal is exactly what it says is exactly what it means. <laughs> In my best cry voice. Ah, oh, Jason, you're so sweet. Honestly, what the fan art, I have zero recollection of that. Especially because I started out with an Etsy store, then had one website, then moved to a different website. So there's been many iterations. I'm saying this again, dibs on your first Wolverine drawing. <laughs> All right, let me make sure I have that written down. I do not. All right, I'm gonna do first. Horse Wolverine, Juan. There we go. I wrote you down, Juan. All right, I really want the tassely bits. So all I'm really trying to do right now is just find some way for me to put the tassels in. It's literally, <laughs> that's literally the extent of what I'm doing. Ooh, maybe I should put like some spikes at the end of her tassels, do fun. Yes, that is down. One, uh, Wayne is ahead of you on that one, Devin. So Marvel, I have Wayne as number one, Devin as number two. I mean, I have no indication of when or ever I will do a Marvel cover, but you're there. Seriously, Tom? <laughs> That's hilarious. It's good that I've got a little extra time before I start inking because I do want to work some of this stuff out. And, you know, I am going for that nice drape of cloth and that I want to make sure I've got it worked out too. Okay, I can live with that. It's just a matter of time. <laughs> Thank you, Devin. I appreciate your, your trust in me. You're such a sweetheart. Okay. So I've got some tassels there, and then maybe I'm going to do some spikes. Okay, if, she, if her hand was like this, would we even see any spikes on this side? We would not. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Go to the corner. <laughs> Can you get dibs on my first gambit drawing? Well, I mean... Even with the Wolverine, like, you know, I may end up getting a commission or a sketch of that at a show at some point, and then what do I, what do I do? <laughs> Would I ever do another Asian character? Of course. Uh, we are still, you know, with Divinica, we will have a lot of, a lot of different, um, 
characters from all over the world. So I, I'm quite certain that we will be um, featuring, I mean, we're going to be featuring Magu more in Divinica, and then I'm sure we'll feature others as well. Seriously, Tom, you're such a sweetheart. <laughs> Fight for first dibs on Dawn's covers. Naomi, hello. Welcome. So good to have you here. Okay, so this is my little eraser trick. It helps me um, lighten lines without the lines fully disappearing. Because I want to really work out the details and make sure that I've got this cleaned up and ready for inking. I don't really like inking over a completely rough sketch. I, I'm not very good at like picking a line. <laughs> Wolverine is currently Laura Kinney, as well as Logan. So you may get either interesting. <laughs> Could you write a refusal one of them? Oh, thank you, Summer. The way that we're probably going to work it right now with Divinica stuff from here on out is via um, the Kickstarters. So um, that's, I can't really do first right of refusals on Divinica stuff. We're kind of not going to do that anymore. Verge, hello and welcome. At least that's sort of the thought process. Of course, for any ones that I have promised first right of refusal, I'm not going to back out of those. That's bad form, but from here on out. All right, so now my lines are really light because I'm going to go in and pick, pick a line. <laughs> make sure it's clean, make sure it's worked out, and then I will work on it. Or at least it will be ready for ink. That's what I mean. I don't generally do this much heavy uh, black in a cover, so this is gonna be intense. Whatever happened to a blank Divinica cover? <laughs> I, um, yeah, JP Roth and I were talking about blanks yesterday. So, you know, that may be something we do in the, in the future, but yeah, we were talking about it. So that is a possibility. And if we do blanks, I will do my very best to get super smooth cougar paper on the blanks. Oh, you do, Verge? That's awesome. I'd buy multiple Divinica blanks so each cover could have a different goddess Dawn Doodle. <laughs> the zombie rats deserve a variant cover. <laughs> oh, Juan, you need to get out of the corner. Oh, can I get a Divinica cosplaying Wolverine? Oh, Tom let him, I mean, uh, Juan let himself out of the corner. Well done. I have definitely become quite untrustworthy, so I'm glad you let yourself out of the corner. You haven't? I thought I sent you to the corner before, Tom. Jason had his inaugural corner, corner moment last time, right, Jason Coates? Was it last time that we said you got your first time in the corner? Just because you wanted to go to the corner. You didn't even deserve to go to the corner. <laughs> Yeah, 
you haven't? <laughs> of course, Summer. I honestly didn't hear you sent me to the corner. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So here it's just going to be like grommet pieces, not actual spikes. That would really hurt. I'm speaking from experience. Wearing a thingy like this that's got spikes that go all the way around really hurts. <laughs> Quick mail check. Hold please. That's funny, Devin. Oh no, Twitch is stuttering for you. I'm sorry. I can darken this up a little bit. I feel like we are dealing with it being too light. Might try this. Let's just see if this works, you guys. girl thank you oh no Hanusol that's rough I'm sorry Metal Chris I'm so sorry I will not be at Baltimore Comic Con this year I don't think That's about the best I can get it. Can we call this piece the ebony throne? I was going for obsidian, right? I'm gonna check and see. Yeah, obsidian. So that's the, that's the, the look I'm going for. And that part, like the, the obsidian throne concept has been approved. So yay. Working title. <laughs> oh, cool, Chris. Thank you.
You can adapt to the Obsidian Throne. Yay. Bumpino, thank you. And thank you, Carmen. <laughs> oh, I know. It's so weird because, and, and that's happened, that doesn't just happen with Coffin Comics, Jason. That happens with, like, everything. So, like, you know, there's the, all the working titles that I gave to the the like Divinica original art that went on the Kickstarter and then Dan at the end gave them all proper titles and you know so of course they sound way better in the the proper titling and you know they sound more goddessy or whatever but like me and Joe are still stuck in the working titles I gave them that are far more foolish. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look that character up, Juan. Hold please, I'm gonna go look up Lagertha. A Viking shield maiden and ruler. Very cool. Oh yeah, she's awesome looking. Poor thing. Brushing out that hair must have really hurt. I'm just looking at pictures here. I guess it's photos from the Vikings show or something. But yeah, I'm definitely going for like a barbarian meets Viking look. No, I'm just going for like ash. So I want some like ashy sort of, you know, kind of like what they did in Braveheart with the blue paint. I'm just doing it with black. I never watched Vikings, so that's why I don't, uh, don't know. Is it better or worse when a working title and official title are similar? I'm specifically thinking of Rage versus Rain. You know, I, it doesn't, I'm not a writer. I don't, I don't even aspire to the, the, um, the concept that I may have some good ideas when it comes to giving something a title. Like I just, I don't, I don't go there at all. So if he changes it to something else, I really don't mind. <laughs> So are we thinking a skull here? I will let this be a crowdsourced decision. Skull at the joint or not? It's very typical to do skull at the joint for Lady Death. I'm just wondering if like maybe I should just switch it up a little bit and not do one. No, oh, thank you, Bambino. That's so kind. <laughs> Exactly what the fan art. They may not. Skull always. All right. Here we go. Skull time. Skull will be facing downward a little bit because there be boobies in the way. And I don't want the metal on her armor here to look all perfect and shit, you know? It should have, like, big, deep scratch grooves in it and, you know, all that stuff. It's gotta look kind of rough. Oh, 
Let's see, you're going Viking theme, she's dead and lives in the afterlife. <laughs> I mean, it's esque, you know? I was also thinking, like, evil elf princess kind of look. So I'm not, and I was not given the Viking directive at all. So my whole situation right now is, I may be off, off base completely. How would one even begin where to start writing a story? Right? That's how I feel. I need to switch to a smaller pen. You might have answered this and I missed it, but what do you do with the OA if Brian says no? I erase and fix. tears were you hoping that it wouldn't get approved and then i'd just have to start on a new piece of paper <laughs> mean So this is the connecting piece of leather that's going around her arm. Actually, let me think about which way that would go. Angle-wise, it might actually be up because it's above our eye line. Never mind. think that I had the angle wrong on that part. We will fix, fix. I, uh, I used to do my sketches for covers in, um, I used to do my cover sketches on uh, a different piece of paper. But I've, I've since stopped doing that and I kind of sketch and final all on the same on the same page. I found that the, the piece has a little bit better um, energy and flow to it and it saves me time to not have to lightbox it twice. 
I was hoping if he says no, oh, yeah, for sure. I would think that that would be fine. It's actually, I haven't had that happen to me, so I don't know. Um, one, for one, um, actually, yeah, I think that people do sell their preliminaries. It's just the non, the one that didn't get picked or, you know, we went in a different direction. Uh, with my Harley cover, I went in a different direction. Had the, the concept approved, then wrote DC back and was like, I hear I have an alternate suggestion. I feel that this vibe is better, uh, but let, you, let me know what you think. Sorry to present you with another round of approvals, but I got a better idea. In my opinion, I sent that in and they were like, yep. So I worked on the first layout because I did get permission from DC to do live streaming. So I did the first one with you guys. It was for this cover. Hold, please. This, this cover. So I, uh, I was going more sinister vibes at the beginning as opposed to just kind of more having fun and, and playing. Um, and then I sent in the next, this one, and was like, here's a, an alternate or a different vibe for it. What do you guys think? And they, uh, they chose this one, so... Yay! So I actually have the sketch for the other one. Uh, I just haven't brought it with me to shows or anything. Sorry, Summer. I mean, sometimes you're chatting. Is it your internet that's the problem? To the camera, a la David. Ah, uh, thank you, Finn. Yes, absolutely, Devin. good motto for life what the fan art what issue number is that i'm sorry this is harley quinn and poison ivy it was a six part series i believe and this is issue one so um yeah it's a really really awesome book and i got to do a cover so this one came out from comics elite i no longer have any copies they might there's a few different versions. There's this version, and then there's the sketch version. So I did the sketch on live with you guys. Um, I did the original sketch on live, and then I did this one on live and submitted both. You know what? I think it actually is this way. The upwards way changes the the turn of the arm and it looked really weird. So here is her back. This is the back of her boob right here and unfortunately there is armpit. Damn it. You got all three. Thank you, Juan. You remember that stream, Jason? Nice. It's really possible, Devin. I, I'm not sure on any of that. Okay, we're gonna put a couple little nicks in the metal. Little nick here, little nick there. I don't want this to look like a shiny new outfit. That just wouldn't fit. Jorge, thank you so, so much for the share. It really makes a difference for my live streams on Facebook when you guys do, do shares and comments and all of that. It makes, it really means a lot, thank you. You remember that stream? You guys have such a good memory. Thank you.
sweet. Thank you, Chris, for looking that up. So they still have copies. Win! we go to cons do you think you'll be able to recognize some of us I really hope so I um I think some of you yes I will for sure I think I recognize you Juan um I've met Devin before I've met Tom before I've met Keeman yeah I think there's a fair few people that I would recognize Jason Coates if I didn't say you of course I'll recognize you as well I'm actually really quite good at faces. I'm just super shit at names. So, you know, I may swap your names around, but I'll know who you are. <laughs> Thrice we have met. Seriously? Or was it just three days at one show? <laughs> then I need to go to the corner myself, Devin. I thought we just met at one, the Toronto Expo. That one time. Or maybe I had made all the connecting dots. You'll wear your martial arts uniform so I know who you are. Yay! Indeed, three different years for the Fan Expo Canada Con. Hangs head in shame. I really remember the one year when the, uh, this last time I saw you. I'm sorry, Devin. Baltimore 2018, NYCC 2019. Oh, yay! I did see that post, what the fan art. It's really good. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put a pattern in her top. I'm still deciding if I wanna do that or not. In NYCC, Brian tried to convince me to buy a copy of Dawn's, is that hardcover that I had just bought minutes before? Ah, that's so nice of Brian. Oh no, Philip, am I missing you? What did I do? Oh, well, I will definitely recognize you, Philip. Hello, James, welcome. It's as it should be, what the fan art. Um, Zenoscope is out of Philly. You did not realize that? Oh, good, huh?
just need to measure this and make sure it is the same. Anthony, thank you. Welcome to the stream. I'm gonna cut that in too much on her thumb. And I'm not sure how I feel about the, the that turn in her finger, so I might uh, might make an adjustment there. That finger is on notice. Okay, wait a second. The last time I got the peach tree away, I remember that. The second time you gave me the Wonder Booty print, I also remember that. And the first, I bought the first prints I ever had from you, Plushy Joker, Ivy, Fire Hazard. Which one is that? Oh, Fire, okay, yes, I know. Fire Hazard, Wonder Woman, Red Leggings, MJ. Oh, so if I had those at a show with me, yeah, that must have been a while ago. What year was that, Devin? So she's going to be wearing her typical garter situation. But maybe I want to make it like a thicker band up at the top. Maybe even put either grommets or spikes all the way around. I mean, she'd be really stabbing herself in the thigh, but... not what the fan art though happy happy day for me when when I sent this off for approval I uh, then I got to wash my hair which it was bad 2016 17 19 I'd have to look you missed the show for a fan oh you're right you're right Devin thank you so much so it's been a minute I remembered all of those things, but they were all compressed into one weekend, which means I'm, I'm mushing conventions together, which I do, for sure. <laughs> I just thought the, the Wonder Booty and the, the, um, the Wonder Booty one that I brought you a Wonder Booty and the Divinica OA of the tree, I thought that was the same weekend. I honestly, in my head, that was all happened at the same time. 
Yes. There has been a brain smoosh. Jason Coates, I have met you once, right? Or am I smooshing cons with you as well? No, Devin, if, if there was a, a, a difference of opinion between you and I, I would generally say you're the one that's right. <laughs> the second scheduled time was canceled. Fan Expo Dallas in 2020 was originally scheduled early in pandemic. True. So that was going to be the second time. So I haven't done any mental smoosh yet. Go me. <laughs> I think I needed to change the arm positioning. This is above our eye line. I've got the horizon line somewhere around here, if I recall correctly, which means that all of this stuff is above eye line. And maybe, honestly, that's what's been fucking me up with her arms this whole time, is I have been doing the perspective incorrectly. Yeah. Unless really long email threads count. <laughs> James Whalen, you're such a sweetheart. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna look at it on camera for a second. I see shit on the camera that I don't notice here. Sometimes. It's much better for me to catch errors looking at that. Yeah, I think that doing them upwards like this is correct. The, these things, because they are pointing downward and they're quite, a, quite an angle, that's fucking with my head a little bit. So that one I'm going to need to think about a little bit more. But yes, the rest needed to go the other way. That was the problem. Four eighteen. Shit. I really need to do my penance stream. Do not worry. I haven't forgotten. I just need to finish this cover run. And then I will be able to human correctly. To artist properly. And maybe not use, like, hair washing as my reward for getting my deadline in. <laughs> like, I can't take the the half an hour it takes for me to wash my hair which it does uh it's a whole thing uh i i can't afford to take that time unless i'm i've got something in for approval and then i can see you later baron much love to you have a great weekend So Jason Coates, just so you're aware, my plan uh, with the with the um, the skull chair situation is I am gonna black it all in, uh, except for any of the parts that are highlighted, uh, and I'll do that with Copic marker probably. 
the rest is not going to be super heavy blacking because actually the when I do too much ink like this, it does get in my way. So I may do like some additional adding in more black afterwards. Um, you know, like I've done with your covers before, just so you're aware. Um, so it may take me a minute to complete this cover post color. Because too much black on stuff actually really gets in my personal way as a colorist. It kind of bugs me. So I do, I'll scan it before I start adding in all that, that Copic black. So just an FYI slash heads up. Oh, no spider woman. Sorry, James. Um, I'm sure we're, you know, we may feature her again at some point, you know, keep an eye out for November, stuff like that. Noted, I've got the wide range of Dawn. <laughs> Kelly Ink, Memento Mori, pencils only, so it's got... I forgot about that. You got Memento Mori. Did you get that on, did you, you didn't get that for me though. You hunt, you uh, hunted that one down. Yes, because Jason, you're getting like the course of seven years of drawing for Coffin. I have changed my mind many times on my process. <laughs> Mr. E, hello. You found that one on the secondary market. Okay. Yeah. Now her arm is correct. We are looking up at Lady Death ever so slightly, and as such, the perspective curves would be going up and away from us. This one is a little bit more right on target with us, and it's going away from our eye line because we're kind of looking right here. That does turn this way to show that her arm is facing away from us. Hello, Mandelbrot. How many John OA do you own? I saw you post the framed up OA. Aw. Mr. E, how has your day been? Sorry, Mr. E. Are you dying of heat? They do span years. I can't remember when I drew Memento Mori. That might have been 2015, I'm gonna take a guess. Oh no, Juan! Is that what happened? Did you piss him off? It's not too bad here right now. Oh, that's great. Two thousand sixteen in the signature. Oh, okay. Two thousand fifteen must have been the the um the zombie cover then. That must have been 2015. And then 2017, I'm gonna look and see what covers I did. Work, Coffin Comics, Final Cover, 2017, I did... Oh yeah, the Crystal Cavern one. And then 2018, I did March, Lady Death Rain. August was Hellwitch on the throne. December. Oh, was the Horns Up one. 
anyway. I wish they could say the same. It's still over a hundred here. I like it that Don blames me. <laughs> I wonder if UPS is hiding that they lost the package. What's that about? Is it me or do you have two? Okay, yeah, Jason. Well, one of them, the horns up, it was a blank that I did for Coffin Comics. I wasn't even aware that they were going to be used as covers, though I should have assumed such. Kind of me not thinking. Um, so the only actual real cover, not a commission piece, is the the horns up cover where she's kneeling. You have that one. Um, the other one was a, that I did on a blank. You do have that one. <laughs> uh, Summer, I'm really, really sorry about that. Yes, so uh, I did th three or four no, maybe it was four or five blank commissions, kind of like I did uh, the Lady Death Around the World series. Uh, those ones are pieces that are actually for Coffin specifically. Um, so I did that one. It's purple and has like lightning behind it or something like that. That was uh, a commission piece for Coffin Comics, for Brian specifically. And also I did that with the Hell Witch ones. <clears throat> so, um, those ones, uh, that one I did do a horns up. Stuck in a facility since June 7th. You know what, uh, what the fan art, it probably has been moving through things but every so often since the start of covid till now we are running into these issues where they don't show up um the tracking is not activated or working properly and that does happen with ups from us from anyone um it's happened with packages that i haven't um that i haven't Sorry, that I didn't even ship myself. Ones that I am purchasing from like a uh, few clothing stores in the US, it just, it seems to be happening. Uh, with those, sometimes it means it's gonna take a little bit longer, but it will arrive. That one wasn't labeled as a David Balance series, so I know who doesn't have that one. No, I think Brian has all of the originals of those exactly what the fan art um i've received packages from the u.s that said they were still at the warehouse pending pickup from usps and then it arrived at my door in canada right so it's just tracking is a shit show right now i know the tracking number you had one job He has two from me, I believe, Jason. I'm not very good at like memory shit though. <laughs> you know, all the commissions kind of blur into this swirl. <laughs> I'm really sorry what the fan art though. I'm so grateful for your order, truly. And I'm sorry about the tracking. Of course though, if it doesn't show up, you can keep in touch, but so far since the onset of COVID, the only one that hasn't shown up is one country closed their borders to packages from the U.S. Other than that, everything has shown up. It just sometimes the tracking doesn't work. Brain smoosh.
Thank you, Mr. E. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I'm, I, I don't I don't know anything about like what it's gonna be used for or when it's coming out. Those are things Dawn is not privy to. I know what the fan art it's insane how it happens like that and some will just be amazingly fast and then another one literally just sits somewhere for a while or is coming very very slowly and not moving the tracking is saying it's not moving but it actually has progressed through This is not scientifically proven, but I have a running theory and I don't know if that's correct. But sometimes if the tracking doesn't get activated, like it, it never shows up as being picked up and it's just sitting in Bensonville, for instance, um, the tracking never kicks in, you know? So they can beep it at a bunch of different places. And I, I feel like if it doesn't happen at the beginning, it never works afterwards. I'm waiting on a delivery now, 23 days, and the typical has been 10 or less, but I'm confident it'll get here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Devin. Of course, you guys, if, it, if after like a month or so, I'd give it like a month to six weeks, and I know that's super shitty, but I, um, I have sent out replacement packages, and then a day or two later, the other package shows up, and it's a little like, ah, shit, you know? Um, so if you're okay with just waiting and giving it a bit more time, that would be greatly appreciated from me, because I, otherwise what's going to happen is I'm going to send you a replacement, and the next one's going to show up like in a day or two after the replacement gets there. And I have no idea what's going on in the shipping that makes that happen because from our end, we're shipping it to, to get there as fast as it usually does. It's something in the beyond our control situation. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you can give it a bit more time, that would be great. But if after like, you know, a good six, um, Four to six weeks, if it still hasn't shown up, then get in touch with me and Dan and we can see about replacements and stuff. Oh, that's so cool, James. Again, we blame Sherlock, always. You're getting your sideshow saber tooth statue delivered today, hooray! I know, right, Jason? <laughs> that happened too. <laughs> Think that was for the horns up cover. Possibly, yeah. I'm grateful for the extra time though because I usually have like shit I want to do after the cover is done. Because, like I said, I don't fully ink in her suit or a lot of the, the black ink portions until the cover is colored. You know what? It really might not be that way either. We might need to turn it. <gasps> Weird that these are really fucking with my head this time. I remember that too. You really were blowing up my mailbox. 
And the thing is, is there's no need to stress. Like, to me, it's not a big deal. I just carry on living my life. <laughs> yes, exactly. It was at Christmas time. Really, there's no stress needed. Um, so once I'm done with this, I'm going to work on some Divinica stuff. I was thinking maybe at seven o'clock, I might switch to Divinica, um, paintings and hopefully I'll have heard back with this so that I can be inking it with you guys on Sunday. We'll see. Um, because I'm almost done with like everything I can do before I want to start adding the ink in. Yes, it's seven right now. Well, in one minute, according to my phone. But we'll see. Maybe I have more I want to do on this one. Basically, I want to be ready to start inking once I get approval, or if I don't, then I'll need to fix some stuff for sure. So all the X's mean black. to James. Wow, you bought a lot of prints. Thank you so much. Yay, James. I hope they reach you safely and quickly. Thank you again. Do most people pay for OA with checks or is it an online banking thing now? My preference is checks. Um, but PayPal is also fine. It still is, Jason. Big time. do I get them within a week yay is that to avoid fees um not so much it's because of the currency exchange <laughs> truthfully PayPal makes it so that they change the money for you. Why don't you guys, the comic art fans show dueling dealers of comic art. One of the regular sellers there has a strong preference still for paper checks. Either X-Men, Sideshow, or Dawn. Aww!
here I need to really clean up this little disaster. So I want to make it kind of like leather ties and strips. that are tied right here. And actually it'll be fine if these are like black or some other color because the cloth here is red so the black will show up, yay. So if I got a commission or cover as a fellow Canadian, you prefer to be paid in American, or could I pay the American equivalent in Canadian? Sorry for all the business talk. Oh, um, for uh, commissions, uh, for covers, what it is is I'll just uh, do the exchange rate, you know, like whatever the going rate is, and you can just pay in Canadian. Uh, for my fellow Americans, it's very handy for me to get it as a check because a lot of my bills are in US dollars. So then I can pay my bills. <laughs> All right, go ahead, mystery. Got a great question. It's a question everything. I'm sure that they do mystery and they probably hate it just as much. <laughs> Well, you know, I haven't, I would not at this point feel confident in some of these lines to go ahead and ink them. So I'm going to carry on with what I'm doing and keep working on this. I'm going to give her a short gloved bit here and that needs to go like that. Still a few more to go. <laughs> Sorry, Fawn. I don't know that the, the little pyramid, I don't know, these little diamond shaped things really work. I don't know if they look very good. It might not be the right vibe for this outfit. God, I'm just like refreshing my phone. Refresh, refresh. Oh, really, Devin? That's good to know. to check the art portfolios. I swear there's a number of yours. Can't remember which one. Oh, sweet, Jason. That's awesome. Don't worry about the long text. Serious question. Have you ever thought about putting OA on your website? Seen the one. I have to get permission to sell. No, I don't have to get permission to sell. It's just that, um, Truthfully, it's kind of a pain in the ass for Dan, Dan to have to create a item for one item. Um, it's not like we are, you know, we're not billed per item, I don't think. It's, so it's nothing like that. It's just, you know, most of the time the art is claimed already. 
the first right of refusal list with Divinica for the most part. It's claimed already, or we're going to save it for the Kickstarter. So that's why I don't really have any original art on my site. Um, and most of the time, people prefer to pay on time. So like, never does a original just sell straight up like that, like picked off the website and gone, you know? Uh, most originals are paid over the course of a couple months or something like that. So it's just, it never, it never really seems to go anywhere, if that makes sense. Is this for another Lady Death Kickstarter? Um, it's the Grizzly. I don't know where exactly this is going to be used, but yes, it is for Lady Death. Pending approval. I'm still working on the sketch. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. I really don't like that. Something about that whole situation is not working for me, so I'm going to need to fix that. You have been in line for a long time. Like a year and a bit, right, Jason? Only reason I ask is because every time I call dibs on OA, it's either gone or already has a huge right of refusal rate for all of these dib callers. Not going to name names here. <laughs> yeah, it's because I've had a lot of these dibs via email <clears throat> way out, you know? Like... Um, so I am really sorry, and I will try to, uh, I do have my first right of refusal list, and if you want to, like, there's so many preemptive dibs going on, that's the issue. So I am really sorry about that mystery. Has Brian and Coffin Comics ever not approved your work? No. Suggestions of changes are being made, though. You know, so it's like, yes, okay, we want this layout, but, you know, maybe the outfit isn't quite what we were going for. I mean, I'm just throwing shit out there. I, I don't have any clear rec recollection of anything. Um, but yeah, stuff like that, for sure. But as far as a full, completed cover being rejected, thankfully that hasn't happened yet. I'll just call you. I've got your number from Dan, hoping it's the right number. Since we're on the topic of OA, I can show you guys the pieces that I do have that are not dibbed and not sold. And then there's some that are dibbed, but I don't know if they're going to stay dibbed, so like maybe that's the situation where I will put them up on the website. So of course this one is on the website. Um, I might like put it on sale or something. So then these ones are all dibbed, dibbed. This one is not dibbed. So this was the Battle Fairy cover, which is weird. I really liked this one. That's the print that comes with it. Yeah, impromptu auction. <laughs> Uh, Magu's being paid off on time. This sketch is not dibbed, and I, you know, I also just need to move my ass and put them up on the website. So this is not taken. I just have to be careful for boobies. Neither of these are taken. So this was the White Widow cover sketch. This was the Battle Fairies cover sketch. Um, let's check for boobies. This was the other sketch that I did for the 
the DC cover. Yes, I'm wearing a summer dress. There are shorts underneath though. But then I changed the idea to this one. That The sketch for this one is gone. This one is available. So it's just a Harley sketch if you want it. Cat flight is taken. These are claimed. These are claimed. These are claimed. I can't show them all because there'd be boobies and I haven't covered them. Oh, but I didn't show you guys the final Kara's. So this is claimed, but she is here and finished. And then the Robin, I need to add the laser beams because I actually didn't draw them in here. I did that on the computer. The, you got that butterfly lady. That's my goals for drawing hair. Oh, yay. It's the one you got uh during the kickstarter battle yeah that's right it's the battle fairy one and then i'll show you guys some things these are not for sale yet because they are not uh completed but these are some of my uh character designs um so that was the divinica character design sketch and then this was when joe and i were actually working on coming up with how divinica was going to look um and then some working out her outfit so this stuff will go in one of the next genesis books for sure here we were working on divinica's face shape how we wanted her to look what her eyes were going to look like her nose all of that stuff and then these are concept art pages for divinica as well these are older i drew these like a long time ago and they are, you know, semi-claimed, but I'm just keeping them for the Kickstarter things and for Genesis. Works in progress and all of that. Yikes, there was boobies. And then Hera, I drew some concept art for her. Yes, that was Medusa, but I am changing probably the way I was thinking to draw the snakes. I was really in this, like, let's do uh, white snakes. But, you know, in all the mythology, she has green snakes, I think. Anyway, we'll see. Any Lady Death art sale for sale? No, I'm so sorry. Heavily secondary market. I have found some cover sketches. Phoenix Commission signed by Femke. Oh, yeah, you got that one. Of course, Mr. E, no rush whatsoever. Um, so really, you know, there's the, the putting it all up on the website and also me moving my ass to get everything scanned, you know, and what the final cover looks like and the way it's cropped and everything, I need to show like what the actual original looks like. And so it's just, it's too much work for me sometimes. <laughs> Okay, carrying on. Yeah, those things didn't really work for me, so I'm gonna try maybe just tying stuff on there and maybe just doing, I don't know, there's really not enough room for my little str string tassels over here. So I might just have to have the spikes maybe going down. Ooh, maybe I could do some sort of braid weave situation with all the with all of the leather strips that would probably work and it would just go down like that it was a great question i'm glad i'm at you asked oh i'm glad you asked as well i am sorry that i am i'm a little bit of a lame lame person that i don't put some of these pages up And Philip asked me what was for dinner. I completely missed that. I think tonight is pork and pita. <laughs> How about some chains since you love drawing them? Fuck no. <laughs> 
I did that last cover. That was my my penance or my payment towards the chain god. Mm, fuck doing that again for a hot minute. <laughs> Wait, you were asking, is the Medusa there? I thought you said, is that Medusa? Did I answer your Medusa question, Devin, or did I totally blank on it? We've got too much boop, boop, boop. That doesn't look good, but I really am attached to that right there. So we're going to need to break that up because that doesn't look good. Like, that is probably fine, maybe. You just don't want, like, too much even spacing like this. Yuck. Oh, I have mystery. <laughs> you answered a Medusa question, and I'm happy with that. I'm so sorry, you guys. Goodness, chains, chains, chains everywhere. <laughs> you answered a Medusa question. That's so sweet of you, Devin. I answered a Medusa question. <laughs> Such a fail. It's honestly baffling to me that you guys stay here and hang out sometimes. The end of the stream, I'll be like, oh my god. Either A, that was so embarrassing, or B, shit, that was boring. Those poor people. So, I'm grateful. Dawn hates drawing chains so much, she decided to answer Devin's question again. <laughs> 40 minutes! Yay! I am kind of hungry, actually. So I'm excited for dinner. I'm telling you, yesterday, you guys, I was so hungry. I had no good reason to be so hungry. And I ate, like, four snacks in the afternoon. I, like, went and had myself some peanut butter and honey toast. And then I'm like, I'm still hungry. Maybe I'll have a coffee. I had a coffee. Then I went and had some rice cereal. And then while I was cooking dinner, I just grabbed a handful of chocolate chips. <laughs> And I'm just like, I have earned this. Give me some snacks. Oh my goodness, I just got another order. Thank you, Zachary Gregory, for getting Pirate's Treasure. Big hugs. I hope it reaches you safely. Look at this. Thank you all for the support. It really, really means a ton. So much. And there are no cons right now, though they're coming back. Yay. So the website sales make a huge difference to me. Oh, thank you, Wayne. Well, we know chains don't really support you, so might as well buy instead. <laughs> True story. Chains are actually the opposite of support because they take so fucking long to draw. They're so complicated. They're super annoying. And all it does is make you slower on the cover. So it's like the opposite. I think now I'm at a point that I would I would probably start inking. And I already have my water here and I'm all ready to do some painting. 
I just don't know if there's anybody on the live stream that I could do uh, the painting situation for. I am preparing to get the original art out to people pretty soon. So. I don't know if I need to talk to each person and figure out what they want. Oh my goodness, you guys are on a roll. What is happening? Victor Barranco, thank you so much. Ooh, got the art book collection. Thank you. Yay. I really am grateful for that. Thank you so much. I hope you love it. Talking about a Medusa you started on a stream many moons ago, or is that long gone? Oh, okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it was kind of a butt shot one. That was the sketch of the cover. So yes, the sketch has been claimed. I need to uh, finish that at some point. Senior Art wanted to check it out. Thank you, TV Phoenix. Oh, is Tanya on Facebook? Hi, Tanya. So what was the process of braiding Lady Death hair? I don't think I've seen her hair braided, but I could be wrong. I know I've seen her hair flipped backwards while in water. Um, okay, I bear in mind the, the braided Lady Death hair really may not pass approval. Um, but I I've, I've just am going for a certain vibe. I don't know how much of the actual art notes I can share. Um, but I'm, I'm going for sort of an evil, at least the impression I'm getting is a semi-evil evil empress look. So I'm kind of thinking, okay, so what goes with like a lot of skulls? How can I make this kind of dark fantasy is sort of where my head's at right now. And then I'm like, well, I want to make her look dark and ominous and scary and, you know, just evil in some way. And so, not that I find braids evil, please don't get me wrong, I'm just trying to give her a look, you know? So I was like, well, you know, her hair is so beautiful, I could probably, at least for the main version, get away with like a French braid that goes into a bunch of ponytails or something. Honestly, I was just fucking around and trying things out. Um, so I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet mystery. So really my thought process was just that. I was kind of make, trying to make her look like a barbarian pr princess queen situation. And it's, it's been like trying and erasing many things. I went a little too high with her hair at the beginning. Um, and then I tried like a little bit of like a headband kind of, you know, like Roman soldiers had or even some Vikings did or, you know, whatever. Um, I tried that. It didn't look very good. So I took that off, you know. Um... I have to ask, if talking about tedious art, final results were amazing, but yikes, there was a chain-heavy Angela commission a while back. How rough was that? There was much complaining, while it, whining and howling, Jason. I hope they approve it. Love the look. Thank you, guys. Truly. You can tell us anything. We're the definition of trustworthy. <laughs> Chains and super long and detailed ribbons. Oh, I know. It's the worst, Jason. Rookie questions. <laughs> That's funny, Matthew. Where do you prefer to start? Elbow, head, torso, background when creating a new piece. Generally, I start with the head. And then, or sometimes I get adventurous and I start with the spinal cord. Like the, the spine to set the direction of where I want the whole piece to go. Just gonna open Twitch, 
so that I can be prepared to raid. I would like to raid somebody today, especially to pay it forward after Ogro Josh gave us such an awesome raid. That was really amazing of him. Sorry guys, my hair is kind of wet and so I look a little bit like I stuck my finger in a socket. My hair is not healthy right now. I have fried it to shit. <clears throat> All we can do is hope, my friends. Hope, hope, hope. I'm really happy you guys like it so much that you're hoping that it passes approval. That is good enough for me. Thank you. All right. So the rest of this is all going to be handled with black ink. We're going for an obsidian throne. Um, let me see. I don't know if I have the layout on my phone, but I can show you guys kind of the color plan. You can raid my wallet down the road if that helps with raiding. Aw, uh, <laughs> mystery, you're so sweet. Okay, Shino X Art. Oh, okay. I'll take a look. Says Just Chatting, Margo Simone. Oh, Bab Straws is live. Well, I'll let all the things. Human is online. Can maybe use some love. That's true. Yep. So we've got a few people we can go raid. Hold, please. I'm just looking for something. I guess I can also show you guys the layout plan. Yeah. I'll show you guys the, the layout when I'm working on the colors, which should be next week. Greetings, always enjoy watching your work. Thank you. Thank you, Ellen. Welcome. No, that's great, Jason. I appreciate it. Nagisaki's doing art. That's awesome. Jubilina is also online. Sweet. All right, well, I'm taking a little look at everybody, see what they're working on. Oh, I didn't know that, Jason. Thank you for letting me know, poor thing. actually have trouble drawing feet, but check it out. There's a, a hiding foot. I'm getting away with it this time. <laughs> we hid the foot. 
Sometimes, honestly, I'll actually try to get the foot in there so that it doesn't look like I was hiding the foot. My wife and I got into a heated, more than me discussion about intellectual property of art when she asked me about your talking about first right of refusal. Oops, I'm so sorry. Well, in comics, we are allowed to sell our originals, even though it is a character that, you know, is owned by somebody else. The original art, we are allowed to sell ourselves. Remember when Lady Death started in Chaos Comics? Cool, Alan. Actually, Alan, let me just see something. Has anybody on here gotten an original art uh, from the Divinica Kickstarter that is actually on the live stream today? Tom Presley. I'll have to see, because uh, I need to find out if anybody wants pizzazz or not. I am, it's the Grizzly. <laughs> I may, like, see, I did have, like, a bit of her foot here. Let's just make sure that the sizing is correct. Yeah, so I had a bit of her foot here, but all you were seeing was, like, you know, the little tiny bit of her toe, and it just looked even weirder. Like, what is that weird art, like, outcropping of strangeness, you know? <laughs> We need to talk about Lady Loki looking like J.P. Roth. Interesting. I uh, haven't seen any of the Loki stuff yet. What was the question again? I don't think that there was a question. Oh, yeah, I was curious if there was anyone on here who got one of the original art pieces and who still is waiting for me to contact them on pizzazz. I already did the pizzazz on yours, Juan. I didn't, um, I didn't, uh, okay. Sorry, I was reading Matthew's comment. One second, Matthew. I, I, Jason Coates, yours already has too much pizzazz almost. <laughs> um, Juan, I already did pizzazz on yours. I'm just trying to think if there's anyone else here. Perfect as is. Yeah, you got the bling. <laughs> okay, um, has Divinica Art shipped yet? No, it hasn't. I'm going to start shipping it as soon as I'm done with this cover run. Um, all right, I'm going to take a look and tell you if I think you're crazy. And then, no worries, she's a businesswoman and thinks differently about when it comes to technology versus art. Oh, interesting. I don't see it. To me, Joe looks more like, what's that actress, um... Was she in? Yeah, she was in games, Game of Thrones. Oh, God damn it! What's her name? You know, she has the, she, for a while, the actress had, like, side of her face shaved. Not her face, her hair. Somebody please, Devin, I know you, I know you'll know. Maisie? No. Okay. Game of Thrones female characters. God damn it, I wish I was better at names. Marjorie Tyrell. Marjorie, okay, so what's the actress's name? To me, Natalie Dormer. A little bit. I 
I'm sure Joe would be super, like, everybody has their own opinion of who they look like. <laughs> yeah, but I don't see Joe and Lady Loki. I'm just looking at the other Twitchers that are live. Oh, hello, Jeff. Maisie Williams was my thought. Oh, she's had some crazy hair, shaved hairstyles. No, Natalie Dormer, like, ages ago had a, um, she kind of, you know, when that, when people were just shaving, like, behind one ear? Like that? Anyway, sorry, I'm the worst at names, but to me, I would say if, you know, gun to my head, which actress do I think looks the most like Joe? I'd say maybe Natalie Dorman. Oh, that's why Jeff is saying hello. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Jeff got it. I was off. Sorry, Jeff. I didn't see your comment because I was in Google doing an image search to try to figure out her name. <laughs> and you answered. Sorry, Jeff. You're so welcome with the fan art. Have a wonderful evening, a great weekend, and I'll catch you later on Sunday if you make it. I know. Giant duh moment for Dawn. Sorry, Jeff. Natalie had that hair for the Hunger Games movies. Ah. I'll need to talk to J.P. Roth sometime. Well, I talk to her every day. But I need to ask her sometime, like, if she had to pick an actress that she felt she looked like the most, what would she say? Because that's always interesting, to kind of see how someone, you know, what features they, they focus on when seeing a character and, you know, thinking do they look like them or not anyway i should find out from her 20 minutes till food okay so in 10 minutes let's go raid somebody so that excuse me i don't have to like say hi and bye so quickly i always feel really bad that i just peace out so fast to me natalie has a longer face also you know in the movies natalie um has chubbier cheeks? I don't know how to say like more cheek. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Their face shape is slightly different, but they both have, um, they both have such a perfect chin. Like, that is something I just love. That little pointy chin. So perfect. I do not have that. So what actress would play me? Uh, to be honest, the, the, the people that I have heard uh, that I look like or the people have said is Feruza Balk. And sometimes I get told I look like Pink. So either of those. But Feruza is an actual actress. She was from like The Craft way back in the 90s. I can see a little bit of a resemblance. Lost era Evangeline Lily for me? Ah, oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> She's so pretty. I just saw your comment. <laughs> we should raid this awesome artist named McTagg. That's so sweet. Michael Jackson, of course. Actor, actress, no difference. Watch the Oz and you'll see. 
Oh my god, yes, that is very true. I do look like Michael Jackson. Where's my- oh my god, I've been looking for this and it was in my other hand. I forgot about Michael Jackson, yes. You know what? It's amazing how I managed to fill an entire live stream with something I didn't think would take me very long at all. It's a skill, people. Perusa was also the love interest in the water boy. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Her. Yeah, I'd... correct me if I'm wrong, everybody, but that finger looks a little odd. I really like the nail on it, but I don't think the... Today is the 12th anniversary since his death. Oh, rest in peace, Michael Jackson. I didn't know that. Oops, I already erased it. But it's one of those things that probably would have bothered me for a while. You don't think I look like Feruza. Interesting. sync with the rest. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too, Mr. E. I think maybe something a little bit more like that might be better. I try sometimes to get all inventive with my finger posing and it's a little weird. <laughs> We're dealing with the the sun, the afternoon sun again, my friends. And it really messes up everything. So now it's just the waiting game until I hear back about the cover. But you know what, I might try something. I've just been looking here and I think it looks better when like the base of the head or in some place just kind of starts to merge into the stone patterning. So I might start doing something like that. Cause you know, figuring out how I was gonna make it so it didn't look like a bunch of little heads just boop, 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 stuck in the side of the wall. Um, I, might, I might actually get them a little bit more merged in where the, you can kind of see some of the placement of where they're coming out from. Cause I don't know, I thought that looked kind of cool right there. Let me zoom in so you guys can see it. <laughs> yeah, right, Jason? Careful, Dawn, you're going to get, I know, they're sunshiny on me, but all I do is burn and peel. Thank you so much, James, and thank you for your support and your order. I really appreciate it. Each one of them skulls represents one of us. Ooh, I like that. Okay, let's see how many there are. One, two, three. Three, this is kind of like the little bit of a tippy top of the head right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And you know, I've gone back and forth um, here if I should put this a skull head here. 
and I have decided not to because it's just too close to her face and I can just make it highlights and shadows there but I felt like it would just detract from this which is the focal point that I want and then if you put a weird head there that's looking at her might be kind of weird 15 minutes till dinner thank you Keeman I see me just the top though <laughs> Which one? Okay, so which one are you, Mr. E? Who's she gripping? You see here, this is probably too perfect of a skull. Now I need to kind of get it a little bit more funky, junky looking. You're the skull she's sitting on. Of course you are, Juan. <laughs> the one by her foot, off frame, just back of head, I see my resemblance. Off frame by her foot. This one right here? This one or you you're down here. No, you can't be this one, Mystery. You need to choose a more prominent character. Okay, that works, Devin. Yeah, I see that, especially with my current haircut. <laughs> Thank you, Matias. Mystery, choose a more prominent character. Juan, I, you know, I, I get his humor on that one. He can be under the chair. That's fine. <laughs> it's kind of exactly the answer Dan would give, so you get a free pass. Pick one for us. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Um, I'd say... Jason Coates I'm going to put here because he is trying to get the original art, so he's going to own that. This one is Jason Coates. Jason. All right. Now, Devin keeps track of all things and is aware of all things, so I think that he should be up here. <laughs> so this one is Devin. Um, let's see. I'm not trying to play favorites, you guys, so please, if you want to get yourself a skull, we can assign you a skull. I just, you know, the guys that have asked for it are the ones that I'm talking to right now. Really shouldn't be allowed on Friday. <laughs> the one skull looking up by her ass with a weird look on him. Looking up this one or this one? I love how each artist has their own take on Lady Death, but in general does the original justice. Yeah, yeah, it is really cool, Alan. I go with one high in the back. Okay, so high in the back. This one is Philip. This one is Mr. E, looking all sinister. The one behind the elbow is totally checking out ass, this one. <laughs> Maybe that should be Juan. This one is Juan right here. This one is Philip, Devin, Jason, Mr. E. Juan had before had wanted to be under the seat, but you know, we're putting him in a more prominent position. <laughs> it's totally Juan. <laughs> Matthew, let's see who you should be. Drawing feet collection questions just posted to Boot Squad. Okay, I'll check it out, Jason. Thank you, Phoenix. All right, we need to, who was I assigning? Matthew, okay. Yes, I'm sure Juan is ready to bite the butt. So there's also a little hiding sinister someone right down here, but I think that this one is being assigned to Juan. Matthew will give you this one right here. Juan likes it. <laughs> Juan, have Juan 
be the one that Lady Death is handling. He loves a good rub. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, Devin is overseeing the throne. We've still got a bunch more skulls around if somebody wants to pick one. But I decided in the end to not put a face here because it's just too distracting. It's going to be in shadow and highlight. Ooh, it's raid time. Oh my goodness, I totally forgot. Thank you for the reminder, Philip. Okay, I have a few open back there. We will pick one. Let's all go say hi to Keenan. That's the one you were going to choose. Excellent. And some, if anyone here really wanted me to think of you for a skull and I didn't call your name, please don't be sad. I, I was not trying to exclude anyone. So if you wanted a skull, let me know or let me know on the next stream. I mean, I'm not changing what I'm drawing. We're just doing this for shits and giggles. Anyway, it is Friday night. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me this evening. Even though it is not my regular live streaming time, I will um, go live on Sunday afternoon, hopefully to start on the, or to keep working on the inks. Oh, Jeff Monette, Monette would like a skull. All right, we need to decide on one for Jeff. And that's going to be the final action for today. I think Jeff should be right over here. This one is Jeff. My reasoning is it's the other uh, side of the um, kind of like the quasi arms that I'm giving this very random piece. Anyway, okay, now we've got to go. <laughs> Thank you all for hanging out. Thank you for the Facebook shares. I'm going to get my raid going to Keeman right now. Let's go show him some love. Raid. Oh, wait. Where is Keeman? Is he no longer live? Show more. Oh, no. Okay. Keeman is still live. Raid. Keeman. M O N T E K R T S. Wow. My thing keeps glitching. All right. Thank you all so much for joining with me to go give Keeman some love. I'll catch you all later. Big hugs and kisses for a fantastic weekend. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>